Okay, dokie. So welcome back to another video. This one we're going to be looking at this building, Buffalo City Hill, and we have a task to make a stretched landscape. So we want to stretch. So we want to stretch um, this part of um, the building. Maybe make it taller, right? So to do that, we first of all need to um, select the crop tool, and we're going to make it bigger. We're going to make sure our fill is content aware. And we're going to make it, uh, and we're going to make it bigger. So we'll make it just one bigger here. Press Enter. So this will stretch the sky out. Uh, so now we need to focus where we're going to actually stretch the image. Um, I was actually trying uh, with this one, the uh, the single column marquee tool, but actually like, there's there's two there's two different ones basically depending on how you want to stretch it. And the one that I actually need is going to be, so we're going to need this one. So we'll put that one there. So basically, if you want to stretch up, you use the row. And if you want to stretch um, right, you use the column. Um, and in this situation, it makes much more sense to stretch it upwards, right? So we're going to go for our column here. And the column that we're going to stretch is going to be something like this area here, right? This is literally just a single... Uh, 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 pixel row. So what we want to make sure then is if we want to do it properly, we want to make sure that we're sort of in a space which is suited to this picture, right? So if we stretch it from here, maybe we're not going to be uh, causing any uh, additional problems with that. So what we'll do is we'll press Control C and then Control V, and that's going to paste it to a new layer. So here we are on the new layer, and if we actually hide the background now, we can actually see this layer pretty well. And one more. Oh, that's about as good as we get. Okay, so here we are on the new layer. Now it says add a, a, uh, a guide. So we can get our rulers out. It says click and hold the top ruler and drag down a guide until it snaps to the top of the new pixel band layer. Um, to the top of the new pixel band layer. Okay, so let's make sure we do it accurately. Then we'll do it there then. Uh, and hide the rulers with Control R. Right. Now it says select the background layer and switch to the rectangular marquee tool. Okay. Uh, so let's do that. The rectangular marquee is this one. Um, now drag a marquee selection from the top of the canvas down to the new guide. So let's go back, um, control zero on that one. Uh, so we want to drag a canvas from the top of the selection down to the marquee guide. So we can, I think you can press control on this one. Let's see if you press control, you see it snaps like that which is what we want. Okay, good. That looks right. Uh, control C and Control V. Now stretch, it says. Select the single uh, the single pixel band layer, layer one, and choose the free transform tool. I can't actually find it, but the shortcut is Control T, so I can do it anyway. Um, right, so if we hold down Shift, when we do this, let's see what happens. Press commit. So it does stretch it like that. And then it says pop the top back on. And then you can pop it back on. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I'm not sure about this tutorial, to be honest. It kind of doesn't make that much sense. Maybe I've chosen the wrong image here. 